Welcome back. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Ambassador of Egypt to Bahrain, Riham Abdel Hamid Mahmoud Khalid, at Rifa Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of the long standing strategic partnership between Bahrain and Egypt under the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of Egypt, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, to achieve mutual goals. His Royal Highness welcomed the Ambassador to the Kingdom and wished her success in performing her diplomatic duties. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of bilateral cooperation across various sectors, noting the importance of bolstering cooperation to benefit both countries and their people. During the meeting, regional and global developments and issues of common interest were discussed. For her part, the ambassador expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's commitment to furthering Bahraini-Egyptian relations and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and chairman of the Board of Directors of Tamkeen, His Highness, Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali al Saleh. The session discussed and approved the report of the Services Committee regarding a draft law on adding new article to Law 3 of 2008 on the Shura Social Insurance Organization, which aims to extend more parliamentary oversight over public funds by requiring the final account of the organization and the pension and insurance funds after being audited by an external auditor be presented to the Shura and Representatives Councils for approval. The law will be sent to the Representatives Council to be referred to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in preparation for submitting it to His Majesty the King. The Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa in the presence of the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture, Wa'il Limbarak, the Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, the Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhru, and the Capital Governor, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, opened the Chart House residence and marina in Manama within the Bahrain Harbour District, a subsidiary of Infra Corp. Upon arrival, the Deputy Premier was received by the Chairman of the Board of Directors of of InfraCorp, Hisham al Rais, and a number of the company's employees. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed that the continuous growth of the tourism sector is the result of the tireless efforts to strengthen the infrastructure, promote Bahrain's status as a global touristic destination, and achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, with the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He emphasized the impressive expansion of highly rated hotel facilities, as well as the keenness of internationally known hotel brands to establish a foothold in Bahrain, which reflect the support and facilitations that private sector investors receive for practicing this vital activity, adding that the rise in the number of tourists and occupancy rates in hotels contribute to this increase. Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah was briefed on the project, which is an important tributary to the national economy as well as an important non-oil contributor. It also represents an important step forward in the development of Bahrain Financial Harbour. As Sayrafi affirmed that the opening of the project represents the collective efforts of Team Bahrain from all government bodies led by the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, aimed at enhancing investment opportunities in Bahrain, attracting leading international hospitality companies, and strengthening the private sector's role as an economy engine. Al Reyes thanked the Deputy Prime Minister for opening the residence, commending the government's support of the project.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is keen to enhance cooperation and joint coordination between the executive and legislative authorities for the benefit and development of the nation and citizens. In implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness, the integrative role, cooperation and joint coordination between the members of the two authorities continues, which resulted in many positive indicators, whether in developing the system of legislative and laws or developing initiatives and plans aimed at supporting national action. Through their various work sites and hard work, the members of the executive and legislative authorities continue to develop government services, facilitate their procedures, and modernize their mechanisms in all sectors through initiatives aimed at ensuring that these services reach the highest standards of quality and efficiency to achieve the aspirations of citizens and Bahrain's development goals. The Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, NPRA, announced the introduction of an online issuing of lost or damaged services for citizens inside Bahrain via the government portal. The NPRA Under Secretary, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, noted that citizens could benefit from the new service by entering their details and attaching the required documents. Sheikh Hisham said that after submitting the application, the applicant would receive a virtual call for finalizing the issuing process and online payment. The passport will be handed over at any of the NPRA service centers. The Director General of the Institute of Public Administration, Sheikh Dr. Rana bint Isa Al Khalifa, attended the closing ceremony of the leadership program within the National Leadership Development Program, which witnessed the graduation of the program's members from the 28th and 29th batches. Sheikh Dr. Rana affirmed that Bahrain is full of competencies of distinguished national leaders as a result of the support they receive that invest in their abilities and skills. She added that the Institute of Public Administration through the National Leadership Development Program seeks to achieve a unified institutional work system that is characterized by integration and harmony between various government agencies. Sheikh Dr. Rana noted that since its launch in 2010, the leadership program has been able to attract over 500 trainees, which achieves the program's objectives of developing national leaders with competitive strategic thinking. As part of Bahrain's celebrations of the national holidays, the Ministry of Interior organized a military parade in the Northern Governorate in the presence of Governor Ali bin Sheikh Abdul Hussein Al Asfour and Deputy Governor Brigadier General Abdullah bin Ma'antar, in addition to representatives of civil society in the Governorate and citizens. The Northern Governor asserted that the parade comes on the occasion of Bahrain's celebrations of its national holidays and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and enhances the principle of belonging and loyalty and to consolidate the values of good citizenship. He added that the Governorate was keen to provide programs that enhance belonging to all sectors and age groups, which in the Kingdom further progress development, security, safety under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. This national event aims to deepen communication with all segments of society and enhance community partnership as a major mechanism in the development and modernization strategy pursued by the Ministry of Interior with the aim of enhancing communication with citizens, residents and civil society institutions.
The Heritage Village Festival in Ras Hayyan, which coincides with Bahrain's celebration of its national holidays, continues its activities with a large turnout of visitors. The village's buildings and urban models reflect different stages of the history of Bahrain. The festival also has activities for the public that combine the past and the present, such as Bahraini heritage activities, historical and heritage exhibitions, folk bands, handicrafts, police band performances, a diverse market that includes popular and modern products, restaurants and cafes, as well as training and entertainment programs for children.